UFC have broken protocol and they have decided to give some fighters on the UFC 300 card some new fight wear. Some of those are good, some of them are shit. We're just going to have a look at them, starting with Alex Pereira. So Alex Pereira has done an unboxing, revealing of the shorts, and I don't know why whoever's unrevealing it, I don't... <laughs> I don't know why they've done it like an absolute fucking retard. They pulled them out the bag, and from the top up, I don't know why they didn't open the bag and pull them out, but they, they, they fumbled it, they, they had sausage fingers, and they were... It's just very messy how they opened the fucking bag to reveal the shorts to show Alex Pereira. Now, I don't know why they did it like this, but we'll, we'll play the video. We'll play the video. <laughs> There's just absolutely no tell from uh, Alex Pereira whether he likes him, whether he doesn't like him. He's just stone cold. He's stone cold because he's in killer mode. He's ready to fight. He's going murder Jamal Lil on Saturday. And that's what's in his mind right now. So he, does he give a fuck about some shorts? M maybe, maybe. Probably not. Probably not. Especially when, when they look like this. You'll see in a moment. Just to post these today. Let's é bem, chama. Você tá louco? Bonito pra caramba. Ah, que lindo. Ah, beautiful. E parece uma bagulho indígena mesmo, velho. Gostou? É, mas experimentar aqui não. Quer try? Uhum. Yeah. Still no expression, still no expression from, from Alex there. So we're going to have a look at what the shorts look like here. That's him holding them up. Absolutely stone, stone cold, stone faced. No expression. And going back, here's a better view of the shorts. Uh, this is him wearing them. Those are not the shorts, are they, guys? They're not the shorts that Alex Pereira should be wearing for UFC 300. The fucking hell, man. The, the fucking fruity-coloured fucking Aztec-y. I, I mean, uh, they, this, they, these aren't the shorts of a killer. They, they, these are not the shorts, guys. These are not the shorts for Alex Pereira. Send him back. Give him the fucking his, his usual shorts that the either yellow or green. Don't. These are terrible. These are fucking terrible. Uh, get rid of them. Burn them. Burn them now. Um, we're going to move on to the next shorts. We're going to move on to the next shorts, which is Max Holloway. Now, before we have a look at the Max Holloway shorts, I'm just going to tell you right now, don't expect too much. These aren't any better than the Alex Pereira ones. I don't know what the UFC were thinking when they were designing these shorts, but these are not the shorts, guys. These are not the shorts. So we're going to take a look at the Max Holloway shorts now. And there you go. <laughs> I mean... I don't know what's going on. I really don't know what's going on. Why the UFC have done this. Um, floral. Interesting. Interesting. I get they're going for the Hawaii sort of theme, but it's kind of cliche, the, the Hawaiian fucking things that they throw over them, the necklaces, and they put on the shorts. I get that, and they've gone with red and blue. Um, you know, the colors of the flag. But these are not the fucking shorts, boys. These are terrible. Whoever's designing these shorts, get rid of them. Um, it's probably a reason why they don't let... I don't know if the fighters have designed them or whether it's the UFC that have designed them. But I'm pretty sure... Yeah, just go back. Go back. Go back and wear the UFC shorts because... These are bad. These are bad. These are not good at all. And what are we doing? What are we? We sending our fighters dressed <laughs> like clowns for the biggest event of the year. I'm not impressed. That's for sure. I'm not impressed. <laughs> oh, dude, the, the more you look at them, the, the worse they get. They, they are that bad. And I don't get why in the on the inside leg... They've, they've decided to just make them plain white as if they've just been... The, the pattern just disappears. That's not good. That that looks weird. Yeah, I, I don't know why they've decided to... Whoever's designed them, they, they, they're terrible. These are... 
Again, not the shorts. Not the shorts. Anyway, we're moving on. We've got we've got oop. We've got two more to have a look at. Uh Wheelie Zang and Justin Gaethje. Who shall we go with first? We'll go with we'll go with Wheelie. We'll we'll see what Wheelie's are like. So you know what? The Wheelie Zang ones, they aren't that bad. They aren't half bad, but they don't look too drastically different from what the, the red gear looks like anyway, the red fight gear. So uh yeah, uh, they they've got some nice weird patterns on there. I don't know why. They've got lines pointing down to the vagina. That seems odd to me that they've like directed lines to the tits and the vagina. They've got the white lines and then they've got some kind of target in the middle of a chest. On second thoughts, <laughs> yeah, the, that, the more I'm looking at it, the weirder that, that actually seems. So again, yeah, I've got to say they, they, these are bad. Uh, I don't get why they put um, <laughs> some some lines pointing to the vaginas and tits and targets on the on the fight gear. But there you go. Some interesting designer thought that was a good idea. So why not? Anyway, we, we've got one more to look at before we uh, dump reviewing these shit fucking fight costumes. That that's uh, we've got fucking clowns walking into the cage on Saturday night by the by the looks of it. Anyway. We've got one more. We've got one more. The UFC must have collaborated with the fighters on these designs because there's a little bit of every fighter in the in the, the the gear. So I reckon they have they have collaborated. Unless they've decided to go, you know what, fuck you. We'll do what we think you want and we'll design it for this special occasion based on what the UFC will allow the fighters to wear. That's a possibility because we do know that the UFC do like to control what gets shown on tv anyway we've got one more design coming up and that is justin gaethje and it pretty much is justin gaethje so let's take a look at that one there we go it's justin gaethje and they kind of just look like normal normal ufc shorts don't they they just kind of the run-of-the-mill ufc shorts except they put that weird little line design in there um don't know why. So I'm guessing the the fighters haven't really designed them too much because they put the same design on two of the shorts now. The the fucking lines on Wheelie Zhang's uh, fight shorts. They they pointing down to a vagina. Uh, they on, on Ju Justin Gaethje's shorts. They've decided to go past the dick area and just uh, point down to the sort of knees or the the thighs. Uh, Looks looks a, a lot better like that when they're not like crafting in at the the giant. Um, so yeah, um, don't like them either. Don't like them. So <laughs> I don't know why they've decided to do this because I, I I can see from the comments already that no one's impressed with Alex Pereira's shorts or Holloway's shorts. They're not going to be impressed by these. These are just boring. There's no. It's just bad, isn't it? It's just bad. Why, why, why break? Why break protocol for this? Why? Anyway, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.